I thought I'd show you some of the peppers we harvested today and talk about each one of them a little bit. These aren't all the peppers that we have, but these are all the ones that were ready today. The first peppers that I harvested were Oda, and I have two plants of these. These are a mild sweet pepper, and they get a little bit sweeter once they turn red, but we usually harvest them when they're purple. These are great to eat fresh, and my brother-in-law and I and my nephew each ate one of these out in the garden the other day. The next one we picked was New Mex Big Gem Chili Pepper, and this is a big pepper. Some of these are probably around 8 to 9 inches or so, and they might even get a little bit bigger than that. But these are a nice, milder heat chili pepper, and most of these are on the mild side even when you compare them to a jalapeno. On the Scoville heat scale, these come in at around 500 to 3,000, and the ones I've tried, I would guess, were around that 1 to 2,000 range. The next ones are the red peppers you see here, and they're a sweet pepper called Jimmy Nardello. They're very good tasting and very productive, and I think I'm going to be growing them next year. They're just a good producing, good tasting pepper. Those twisted looking, slightly bumpy appearing green peppers you see are called shishito. And those are one of our favorite peppers to eat. I like to put a little olive oil in a pan and then heat them till they're blistered a little bit. And then lightly salt them. And we usually don't have any trouble eating a whole plate. The next one is the red pepper right on top of the pile. It's a sweet pepper called lipstick. And it gets very good reviews, and I hope to be tasting this one soon, because it's the very first one we picked. The white pepper you see there is called Albino Bullnose. And it's a sweet pepper that we've grown the last several years, and it's always one of the first peppers that produces for us. And here we are in late August, and it's still producing. That light orange pepper right on top of the pile is called Sugar Rush Peach. It's a pretty hot one, coming in about 150 on the Scoville scale. And that plant has about, I'm guessing, between 50 and 75 peppers on it right now. So we'll be getting a lot of those very soon. Last but not least are some hybrid peppers. These are a cross between an Oda pepper, which was the first purple peppers that we saw at the bottom of the pile and an unknown hot pepper. So these, instead of being sweet, are mildly hot. And I would guess the hottest ones are probably in the 1,000 to 2,000 Scoville unit range, and the mildest ones have almost no heat at all. And some of them have purple coloration, and some of them have yellow, which is kind of odd, but that's the way the Hybrids work out. Some of them go one direction sometimes, and some of them go another direction. And you can start with a hybrid pepper and produce several varieties from the same cross. This is one day's harvest, and this is just the beginning. We expect to get a whole lot more peppers, and I hope to be showing some of those as we get them. Be sure and let us know what kind of peppers you're growing. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure and subscribe. We'll see you next time.